Hey there, all you popular people. See what I did there? Welcome to Broadway by Ghostlight. I'm Mark Banani, and today I am so freaking excited to start this new series I've been dying to do forever. 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 One of my passions is collecting Broadway ephemera, particularly props and costumes used in Broadway and off-Broadway shows, as well as other rare memorabilia and such things as that. The costumes, the scenery, the makeup, the props. And I've wanted to do a series sort of showing them off and talking about the different origins, but I haven't been able to. What's stopping you? Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, first off, thank you. Thank you for being a fan and continuing to watch these. And for that, I owe you my life. But you, you may notice from some of my old videos that there used to be an awesome orange ghost light here. Namesake of my channel, Broadway Bay Ghost Light, and my ghost light, um, and it uh, is not in the later videos. And he's lost weight. The reasoning for this is that uh, for the last few months, I've actually been in Southern California visiting with family. Uh, it was just going to be for the holidays and then it turned into a very, very long extended stay. That's when I thought I was out. They pulled me back in. We do go back home to Brooklyn in the fall. But one of the not so amazing things is that I have not had access to any of my collection and I've wanted to share them with you guys for so long now it feels. So I was just going to wait to the fall to start this new series but then I noticed that I'm me and have been accumulating some items even while out here in California. But I can't stop myself, I'm out of control. <laughs> Plus being at my childhood home I have come across some things that are cool like the first prop I ever owned as some other fun things I thought I'd share with you guys today. And before I get started with my stuff, I really want to encourage you all to share in the comments or on Twitter or Facebook. You can find me at Bway Ghostlight. I want you to share with me your collections and your props and costumes or things that are really fun and unique and memorable. I would love to see them. Show me what you got. And uh, I would even love to maybe share them on this channel. I think, you know, there's really not a big community or a community at all for sort of theater prop collectors and such as that. I mean, there's big Playbill collector groups. There's lots of window card uh, collectors, a big community there, which I'm a part of. Uh, but not so much when it comes to the props and costumes. So if you're out there and this is your jam, you've got some stuff, even if you don't and you just want to... Uh, say that you're enjoying this, let me know in the comments or hit me up on Twitter. I would love to uh, reach out. I'm also going to be doing a contest. A jelly bean contest? To win one of my props, but more on that at the end of the video. For now, let's get into what I got today. Behold, my stuff. So the first one is from Mean Girls. Opening in 2018 at the Al Hirschfeld Theater, Mean Girls the Musical was written by Tina Fey, who of course penned the film the musical is based on, with a score by Fey's husband Jeff Richmond and Nell Benjamin. So fetch. Sadly, prematurely, in my opinion, the musical decided not to reopen this fall, and so officially closed on Broadway March 11, 2019, after 833 performances. Boo, you whore. Now, as some of you may remember, my wife worked on Mean Girls for the run, so I do have a lot of cool Mean Girl treasures at home. But one I've acquired recently and have on hand to show you is one of my very favorite pieces from Mean Girls. I am so fortunate to have acquired this. In the show, the Queen Bee, Regina George, rules all, and I was lucky enough to acquire one of her signature pieces her necklace with the letter R. Can you guys see? I just think this is so cool and I cannot wait to get this home and make a nice display for it. What else you got? The next piece I have acquired is from the 1992 revival of Guys and Dolls. In 1982, a revival of Guys and Dolls opened that blew Broadway away. It starred Nathan Lane, Peter Gallagher, and Faith Prince. Faith Prince, one of my favorite performers, won the Tony Award that year for playing Miss Adelaide. 
Oh, you should have seen her in Guys and Dolls. And I was lucky enough to recently get one of the handkerchiefs she used in the production during her show-stopping Adelaide's Lament. So here is the handkerchief. I should be wearing white gloves. I'm not being a very good uh, uh, preservationist here. So here is the handkerchief. It's sort of made to look embroidered and nice. It says Faith Prince as Miss Adelaide 1992. Isn't that cool? So cool. I bought it from someone who said they got it from the Broadway Cures flea market. So that's probably why it's written on there uh, said with Miss Prince's name and the year on it. I do prefer, I will say, I do prefer to have my pieces with no writing or even autographs on it if possible. Sorry, no autographs today. If it could be sort of in a place that's uh, hidden, like I have a large collection of shoes used in shows and if, you know, they sign the inside of the shoe, that's totally cool. But things, you know, this isn't an autograph, but writing like this, it's not a deal breaker, but it's not preferred. Just my, just my preference. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Okay, the next piece is sort of, I guess, a cheating piece. What the hell does that mean? Since I'm at my childhood home, I have some props I saved from my high school production of Dracula. So my senior year of high school, I, we did Dracula and I played the title role Dracula and it was the most fun I've ever had in my life. So I found some props that I had shared, uh, that I had saved from that high school production. So this was the stake that went through my heart every night. Um, it was a big jump scare for the audience who didn't think I was actually in the coffin, but I jumped out. This was the stake. And then I didn't like mirrors, right? Cause I'm Dracula. So I did a motion and someone behind a mirror on the set took a hammer and a nail and cracked it from behind. So the mirror would break every night. And I have one of the big shards. It's not that sharp, don't worry. Oh, it's filthy though. Oh, I'm embarrassed. But anyway, here's the mirror shard. Oh, you can see my whole setup. So those are some of my pieces from Dracula. Some of my personal, personal props. Thanks for indulging me. You owe us. Next is a really cool pictorial souvenir from 1901. I love collecting early, early theater memorabilia as well. So this is basically a souvenir program, but not for a specific show. So here we have, can we see it? A pictorial souvenir from 1901. Over 100 years old. Joseph Weber and Lou Fields were amazing and innovative figures who were monumental in the theater world and contributed greatly to the history of the American musical theater. I really, really want to do a whole episode on the duo. They're a favorite topic of mine, so I won't get too much into them here. We really appreciate that. But they would produce these shows dubbed the Weber Fields shows, and they were constantly changing and being updated. They were burlesques, um, not the bump and grind burlesques, the old, uh, basically a spoof meaning of burlesque, uh, different current shows. So as new shows would open, they would change whole acts. Uh, shows would change from year to year. So it was sort of impossible to make souvenir programs or at least not efficient to, uh, cost efficient to make souvenir programs for specific shows. So what this sort of is, is a general souvenir program um, with, drawings, um, some photographs, but mostly these drawings of the different members of the company. And Lou and Joe, the Weberfield shows featured some top-notch performers. They paid handsomely for their performers. So you have Lillian Russell. I hope you guys can see this. We can't! Faye Templeton, she was a big time performer with them. It's just a super fun, it's very fragile. I know it's uh, it's hard to see here. We get some good Weber and Fields. So as I said, they were sort of just general souvenir programs for the Weber Fields company. Um, but this was just such a cool find and it's in such great condition, even though it's fragile, it's in such great condition for its age. So I was really lucky to snag that. 
I have more Weber and Fields ephemera at home I can't wait to share with you. I have some really weirdo pizzas featuring the two of them. Okay, before I show you the last piece I'm going to show you, which I just got and is mind-blowingly cool in my opinion, I want to share some of uh, my early, early collecting stuff. The next piece is actually really random, but very special to me. It is the very first prop I ever owned. So early in my Broadway and really theater-going life, I saw the revival of Frankie and Johnny in the Claire de Lune that opened on Broadway at the Belasco Theater. It originally opened with Stanley Tucci and Edie Falco, which would have been amazing, but I saw the second cast, which was Rosie Perez and Joe Pantoliano, which honestly was also amazing. But what really stuck out to me and sort of blew my Broadway baby mind was during the show, it took place in a little New York City apartment and one of the characters made a meal. And I had good seats and they were really, I could see they were really making this meal and I could smell it. And it sounds stupid now, but it really then made a big impact on me. Clearly. <laughs> and then shortly thereafter, in what must have been one of my very first purchases on eBay, Broadway Cares sold this milk carton used in on set in that scene of the show. And I just had to have it. I mean, a tangible piece of that memory. It's just a regular old milk carton. I mean, it is signed. It's signed by Edie Falco and Stanley Tucci. Um, uh, September 2002, this milk carton was used as a prop in the production of... I actually love that. Um, this was written on that. Um, a lot of the stuff... It's really hard to get Broadway props um, authenticated. I guess that's a topic for a whole nother day. Um, but it's nice that it says this milk carton was used as a prop in the production. Anyway, so I have this milk carton, super random, but I love this piece dearly. I also, while I was in my boxes, I grabbed some random things from my very first trip to New York. I was there for six days and I saw 11 shows. How is that even possible? Okay, so here is, and this is, it's really beaten up. But, I mean, really beaten up. But this was an uh, audience participation kit from the Revival of Rocky Horror Show. And it's still got all the original uh, elements in it. It's got the newspaper for when it's raining. It's got the feather boa, of course. It's got a little flashlight. It's got confetti. This, uh, I remember my merch company I eventually worked for did the merch for this. This is way before I worked for them. And they told horror stories about the red feathers in this boa already just pulling it out. I've got red feathers in the air ev everywhere. Feathers. Uh, but this is a really cool thing. What else have I got for you guys? Oh, just two more things. A urine town water bottle from when I saw the show. This was uh, sold at the bar and I just thought this was the funniest dang thing. This is way before they sold, uh, you know, basically souvenir cups at the bar. And then my Full Monty jockstrap. This is, yes, from the Broadway Full Monty. This is an actual merch jockstrap. Never worn. Never worn. This video gets to a thousand, uh, a thousand views. I'll model it for you. Mm. Are you okay? Mm. I'm fine. I just uh, threw up in my mouth a little bit. Two thousand views and I won't. So there you go. But look, this is an actual little itty bitty jock strap. This is the full Monty on it. I mean, come on. The question is, who would buy it? I just thought that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, now the very last piece I wanted to share with you is probably one of my absolute favorite pieces I now own. I just got it. I was actually waiting to film this until it came in the mail. I am so excited about this piece. Um, so, Tony Pastor. Here we go again. Basically invented vaudeville. I mean, there's a whole, that's a very broad statement, obviously, but it's sort of safe to say he's like the, the grandfather or the father of, of vaudeville. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's important and he's old. So he shaped it into the form uh, that dominated the world in the early part of the century. Again, another fascinating figure I would love to devote a whole episode to in the future. He had his own theater, of course, Tony Pastor's Theater. Uh, very inventive name, I guess. So what I have, and I don't want to take it out of the plastic, so I apologize if there's a bit of a sheen to it, but it's a 
So this is an actual complimentary ticket to Tony Pastor's theater, signed by Tony Pastor, and it's dated November 1896. Tell me this is not the coolest thing you've ever seen. Ooh. I ah. just freaking love that. Signed, comp ticket to Tony Pastor's theater from 1896. This just blew my mind. This is the kind of stuff I live for. I cannot even tell you. It's just a piece of paper. It's mine. And that is it for this initial edition of Prop Table. I cannot wait to record part two and three and four and so on when I get back home. If you enjoyed this video and want more content like this, please, please, please give this video a like and, and let me know in the comments or on Twitter. I'm trying some new things on this channel and the only way I can tell what you guys are into or not is if you tell me. Tell me! And again, if you are a collector or have some cool items, reach out to me on Twitter or in the comments section at B-Way Ghostlight uh, and maybe I can share them in future installments. And I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a contest to win one of my props. The contest. Oh, the contest. contest, okay, yeah, yeah. Not any from this video, so settle down, but something very, very cool. And all you need to do for now is be subscribed to this channel. More details will be coming, but if you're subscribed to this channel, you will be in the running to win this prop. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm Mark Banani. This is Broadway by Ghostlight. I'll see y'all next time.